There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up divas and what's up, what's up divas, your girl April. So today's video is gonna be kind of like a two in one. Um, the hair is from Friday Night Hair. The reason why it's gonna be a two in one is because I actually did this bob curly wig a while ago, which is a synthetic lace front. And I only had it in the color 1B. Unfortunately, the color that I requested was out, which is the 3T332. So it finally came in and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. But let me tell you, the wig is like amazing it's totally fabulous it's amazing this wig it's like i said it's synthetic but the hair texture is like awesome it reminds you of like a virgin brazilian hair texture however it's synthetic and the curls last it doesn't tangle it's like that asymmetrical curly bob just amazing and i wore the heck out of it and still have it so it's like amazing i'm like in love with the wig so i'm gonna try it in this color and we're gonna see how it turns out but before i do that i'm also gonna try out a long curly one which is the gls 15 and this is in the color 1b so friday night hair has been around for a minute i have done videos for them on my prior channel and their wigs just are like really worth it um they they last the lace on them they give you more parting space they're not like that flimsy cheap lace where you get like an inch and a half and then you're like how am i supposed to part this like really this is more work than i put out for so really that's how the other lace wig companies have you with your lace front and even if it's synthetic i think that we all deserve more lace on our wigs so friday night hair it's just not for friday nights you know it could be for like saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday oh yeah and friday again just not for friday night but if you really want to go out on a friday night then why not throw on like a fabulous lace front wig that costs you nothing okay nothing and they're located in texas so ladies you will get these in time, especially if you live in the United States. You're not going to be sitting there like, uh, where's my wig? But with Friday Night Hair, you're going to get your wig quick and speedy. Okay. So, let's start the first one. And if you're wondering, what is this that I'm rocking? What is this luscious beauty on my head? Well... It is my Isis hair that I made, which I didn't make the hair. Because God knows, if I really make hair, I would be like totally awesome. I would have like a line of hair and I just would be off the chain and I would be selling it to everybody. But unfortunately, since I can't do that, it is the U-Part wig that I made. And I will post the video link to that below so you guys can check it out. And if you want more synthetic wig videos, thumbs up this video like thumbs it up get your friends to thumbs it up get your family to thumbs it up get your dogs your cats your your nephews your cousins your baby daddies your aunts your uncles your grandparents your co-workers to thumbs it up and there'll be more synthetic lace front wigs because we all love something affordable okay so I'm gonna take this off but before I do I'm going to show you what it looks like this one because I don't really want you guys to see what my hair looks like underneath it I mean it's not a mess but it isn't the greatest okay it's in like a couple of braids you know and it's not like my go-to style this is like I said this is the GLS 15 in color 1B here is the lace now of course it's not the soft Swiss lace that you ladies would love however you can still work around a lace fabric like this so you do get about two and a half inches of parting space for you ladies to work with and there are cones in this unit which are two in the front and one in the back and also an adjustable strap now the hairlines on friday night hair's wigs are very decent the hair is very decent she is like a very full hairstyle curly i love like curly hair but i'm gonna tell you something the real curly hair when i say the real like i mean like the human hair curly hair like the virgin brazilian or just like any kind of human hair curly hair wig that you make or buy they are like high maintenance 
okay? You have to put product in it. You have to put water in it. You have to just do so much. And then after you do all that work, later on in the day, you walk around looking like a French poodle sometimes because your hair puffs up. And I'm not really into that French poodle look, so I prefer these a lot better, the synthetic curly wigs, because I know they can't swell up, nor do I have to add water or any type of product. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off of this. And I'm also going to be adding one of my favorites, concealer. And normally with me, I like a side part. Got the wig on my head, of course, you guys know that. Now, I what I actually did was I used a pair of my tweezers, my really good tweezers. I've had these for like years. If you get yourself a good pair of tweezers, they'll last forever. So anyway, I went ahead and I just tweezed a little bit of the hair out because um, the knots were a little bit big and it's going to make it a lot easier for me to go ahead and make that part um, a lot more predominant and look make it look a lot more realistic. So I didn't take any of my hair out for like leave out or for the edges or anything like that. And I'm going to show you exactly how it looks close up before I go ahead and style it. Now what I did is I just took some of my hair glaze, um, which here is by Hair Essentials. I used some of that and kind of slicked down a little bit of my hair onto my forehead, or not really on my forehead, but just a little bit of my baby hairs. So that way it just looks like it is growing out of my what scalp. You see is the part right here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this concealer. I'm just going to dab it a little bit. I'm going to press that in with my fingertips. You want to make sure that you get a good blend. Is I'll use like some matte eyeshadow just to darken my hair in the front to go with the wig hair because my hair is a little bit lighter brown. But being that I don't really have anything out but just a tiny bit, I'm going to take this eyeliner pen, eyeliner marker, um, just to make my hair a little bit darker, which will make it look a little bit thicker and just fill in the empty spaces. Just to work it into your scalp. It's time to play with this wig. I don't want to comb her out with a comb, so I'm just going to kind of like finger comb the curls a little bit down to make them look ununiform. I don't want like a gorgeous wig now you see I have her picked out enough that I don't want to do any more because I don't want it to get too full but it is kind of long so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim some of the ends because I like the fullness but I don't want it to just be sitting right here so I'm going to go ahead and trim off a little bit at a time All right, y'all, so I am finally finished. This is all of the hair that I trimmed off this baby. Opinion, I would honestly say to trim it. Me, personally, I love curly hair, but I don't like it to where it's so long and full. Like, if it's really super full curly hair, I just really prefer it like a little bit shorter um, only because it just sometimes it just gets to be too much too wild and it needs a little bit of layers in it it did have layers in it but the layers that was actually in this unit was a little bit awkward the top was shorter and the bottom was longer and I could see it as I was pulling it so that was the only not the only solution but the solution that I wanted to do for this particular way so I do like it a lot now that I have styled it and gave it like a different type of look so yes if you want something curly but don't want to pay like high maintenance prices and human hair curly hair is like really high maintenance hair like you need to really do a lot of stuff to it so with this one you don't really have to do much but put next a couple of wig next is going to be this one and i'm just going to come back with this one on because i already did a actual video on this particular wig which i will post in this video as well So. 
so here is the finished look and this is the one in the GLS 47 you can catch the original video that I did for this particular wig and I'll post that video below the color so gives me like a darker complexion you probably can't see it on camera but it does give me like a little bit more tan look but I like the cut of this one I think so far this is like my favorite wig from Friday Night Hair by far so ladies if you have not picked this one up the GLS 47 make sure you do the color that I have on is actually back in stock so it is 3T332 as I was saying the hair does not look like it's synthetic at all it actually looks like it's kind of like a Brazilian type hair texture and it lasts uh, like a long time I've been wearing that curly one the shorter one the original one I wore it for like uh, a week and a half straight it didn't tangle and it probably doesn't tangle so much because it's shorter in the nape area so it doesn't catch on to like your clothes or rub against your chair or whatever you're sitting on but these ones like this one in particular the curls last they're bouncy you can tossle them you can pull the hair back if you want you could basically style this one any way you want pull your hair out about a quarter of an inch behind your hairline and just play around with it make sure you blend it in really good and squeeze a little bit and ladies no one will ever think that you have on a wig so on that note all the information is going to be down below thumbs up this video if you want more synthetic lace front wigs more affordable um, inexpensive videos and i'll be back real soon <laughs>